FBI being brought in to investigate the NFL's response. Rutgers has suspended leading wide receiver. Two San Antonio high school football players who each blindsided a referee. Carolina being placed on probation. Hello, I'm Emmett Gill, and welcome to the Two Minute Warning. There's a lawsuit against NASCAR. NASCAR is being sued on allegations that it blocked efforts to racially diversify U.S. motorsports. The lawsuit by Diversity Motorsports CEO Terrence Cox alleges that NASCAR has intentionally interfered with the efforts of Cox and Diversity Motorsports to integrate the U.S. motorsports industry by perpetuating, condoning, and actively participating in actions designed to humiliate, degrade, ostracize, and exclude Cox. The lawsuit states that comedian Steve Harvey tried to start a racing team called Steve Harvey Races for Education with Cox last year, but was told by NASCAR it would have nothing to do with diversity motorsports. However, in a video he posted on Twitter, Harvey denied Cox's claims. I sent that letter to this man the day after our meeting because what he, what he came to me with was, what can we do to help youth? What it turned into was he was going to boycott Coca-Cola and have all these youth come down there and block the streets in front of Coca-Cola. I said, wait a minute, man. I'm not sending no young kids down to block no street in Atlanta in front of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola ain't done nothing to me. Coca-Cola ain't done nothing to them. Hold up, man. I said, something happened to one of these kids. I said, you got to be kidding me, man. I said, I'm not with that. Now, if you want to expose them to NASCAR, that's what I'll do for underprivileged youth. That's my work is with underprivileged youth. There are no African-American drivers in NASCAR's Sprint Cup Series. One of the teams Cox is suing, JTG Daughtery, is 10% owned by former NBA star Brad Daughtery, who is African-American. Will the NCAA reconsider college athletes' Olympic bonuses? NCAA President Mark Emmert says member institutions might reconsider allowing college athletes to accept payments for Olympic performance. NCAA rules allow athletes to accept money for training from the U.S. Olympic Committee, similar organizations in other countries, or national sports governing bodies. Athletes can also keep bonuses given for winning gold medals. A gold medal was worth $25,000 to U.S. athletes in Rio. Swimmer Joseph Schooling, who attends the University of Texas at Austin and competes for Singapore, received more than $750,000 for winning the gold medal in the 100 Butterfly. The USOC program has been in place since 2001, and other countries began such bonuses in 2015. Weinbach was a wino? Abby Weinbach, in her new memoir, Ford, revealed the details of her struggle with alcohol and substance abuse. Weinbach said prior to the book's release, I got crushed in the media for a while, rightfully so, don't get me wrong. Was Weinbach crushed in the media? I mean, I remember Hope Solo's assault trial. I remember the U.S. women's team's equal pay lawsuit. I even remember Hope Solo and her coward's comment. But I don't remember wine back in the wine. I wonder why. I'm Emmett Gill. This has been the Two Minute Warning, and thank you for joining us.